CageMinds.com. We're at Judgment MMA. It's fight week. King of the Cage Rise and Las Cruces. John Rosen was on the main card. How are you feeling, John? Pretty good. Doing a little, little weight cut right now, so I'm a little bit tired, but I feel good about the fight. Adam McGurk, what do you know about him? Um, honestly, yeah, I've watched a little bit of tape on him. Um, you know, he's an all-around fighter. I mean, he's not stand-up, he's not grounded. I mean, he's, he's all around, you know. Um, looks like he's pretty good at everything. Um, but, I mean, I'm, I'm not too worried about any part of the fight, honestly. I mean, I, I think with the way that I fight, it's, it's going it's to match up well. If you just looked at his record, you'd say he's a ground guy. Two wins in the amateurs, or three wins, I believe, and then his two pro wins, all by submission. Yeah. So, by yeah. now, are you used to people wanting to take you to the ground? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, most most stuff that we work now is takedown defense, get ups. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with it. I'm not too worried about getting taken down. And if I do, I, I usually get up pretty quickly. So. So, it, you're returning to the scene of the crime almost. You were robbed last time. Yeah. A no contest, Brian Castillo, is what it ended up being. Yeah. One clean knee and about two to three illegal ones. Yeah. And you have a new scar to remember it by. Yeah. So. yeah. I mean, it, was, it, it happens, you know. And I mean, I, 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 I've thrown up a few illegal shots. And I mean, when you're in a heat at a moment, it does happen. I mean, I'm glad it was overturned. I um, mean, you know, it was pretty blatant, pretty obvious. You can, kind of tell it that the last three or four knees were, were definitely illegal. Um, it was thrown out, so I mean, it's not a big deal at all, but it, it does happen. At the time that it happened, did you know what had happened, or were you just, oh, no, what hit not me? Not at all. I mean, honestly, I, I, felt, I felt the first knee. After that, I was, it was pretty much, I was pretty much out. I mean, it was one of those flash knockouts. I hit the ground, woke up again, saw, saw the dock on top of me, so, I mean, I was, Pretty pissed at the time, um, but I mean, I, I, we watched the video right after, and I mean, he could tell right away, and we started talking about it right away how we were gonna really contest it. And it, it took a while to get overturned, but it, it does for anything. So, so was there a, a part in that that you were worried? Are they gonna do the right thing because it's taking yeah, so long? For, honestly, for a little, I was, um, and I mean, it, it it took quite a bit of fight on on Scott's end. Um, to, to get it overturned, um, but I mean, in the end, they ended up doing the right thing, so I was happy with it. So some time off. You said you've been working a lot on the get ups. Where else have you been focusing on? Honestly, I mean, it, it's the same game plan every time. I mean, we work the same thing every time. My conditioning is there, like always. Um, I, I really do. I feel great with conditioning. Um, as far as my wrestling goes, I've been working a lot with Adrian, a lot with Rich. Um, so I mean, we, I, I really do feel good. I've been getting a lot of sparring with Timmy Means, so I mean, I'm, I'm, my sparring is tip top. I really feel feel great everywhere. I really do. And then again, fighting in King of the Cage. I can't even count how many times you've done it by now. So is it just, it's it's an almost you know it's a calming scenario. You know what's going to happen. You know the people. Is, you know, I, I don't really get too nervous at all before my fights until until I'm about to walk out. You know, I, I do get that nervous feeling when I'm walking out, but. Before that, and, and even then, I was just more than excited, and I'm just ready to go, you know? So, after you got to look at that last fight, what did you really take away from it? Honestly, um, I, I, I realize more and more every fight what, what's, what people's plan is against me. I mean, even, even uh, he, was, he was more of a stand-up fighter. I mean, he, he watched some of his past fights, and I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a pretty good striker. You know, he's got clean strikes. Um, but he had wanted no part of it at all. I mean, he, I don't think he threw one strike on the goal they were standing. I mean, he shot the takedown after takedown after takedown, and that's, I think that's how it's going to be with Adam, too. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's more of just concentrating on my fight. I've been working a lot more movement, uh, not, coming in, not coming in so much, trying to stay out and my reach more. Um, and I think that's, it's really going to help a lot. I believe it was about five amateur fights, and here's your third professional fight. Yep. So, how do you feel comfortable with the extra minutes, oh, everything, yeah. and your pro career so far? Yeah, I, mean, I, I feel really good as, as far as my pro career goes. I mean, start up, start off with that big win against uh, against David Payne. I mean, that was, that was a pretty pretty big win. I mean, he's, he's a good fighter. And, uh, I was glad we were able to come out on top on that one. Um, as far as the the extra minutes going around, the longer rounds. I mean, it's more training, more conditioning, but I mean, I, I, that's one of my most favorite things about fighting is the conditioning. I mean, I, I, love, I love working out, I love doing the workouts, 
So I mean, it's it's really not a problem at all. So have you gotten any uh, traditions or any kind of superstitions that you do before the fight? Anything that you keep in normal rhythm? Honestly, yeah. Uh, before every fight, I mean, we uh, of course have to weigh in. We just go eat pasta, tons and tons of pasta. It's always either Olive Garden or some Italian food. Um, that's really the only, only tradition I have. Um, as far as anything else, um, I mean, there's, there's really not not the same thing over and over. Um, but I'd say that's that's the only ritual is pasta. Always always eating tons of pasta out before my fight. So. And then got the big fight this Friday. It's only a few days away. How do you plan on winning the fight? How do you envision it going down? Honestly, I, I think it's going to be by strikes. Um, most every single one of my fights, I, I get pinned up against the cage. Um, people pin me up against the cage, we clinch up, I'll end up turning them around. Uh, a lot of knees, and I, I've seen he really, Adam really does like to clinch up. I mean, he likes to clinch up and go for take, go for takedowns from there. I, I love clinch. I mean, I, 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 think, I feel like I'm a really strong clinch. I feel like I have some pretty vicious knees. So I can, I can definitely see it ending there. I know there's a lot of people you need to thank. Who's been helping you? Who'd you want to thank? Tons of people, man. I mean, my whole gym, I get so much support from them. All my sponsors, I got Ag Pro, United Stoneworks. Um, we have uh, Comfort Dental. Um, I have uh, Mary Holiday. Um, all my sponsors, uh, Bill Tobin Agency. And uh, all, all my coaches, I mean, my stepdad, Scott, my mom, Robin. She uh, really is the best conditioning coach. She pushes me harder than anybody, and I mean, I, I need it too. I mean, that's that's why I can that's why I can do what I can do. Uh, Scott works with me day in and day out. Never, never does not have time for me. So I mean, it's, it's always good to have somebody there. Um, Adrian, Rich, always work with me. Always willing to work. And I mean, that's that's a great thing about my team. I mean, it's it's never hard to find somebody to work with you. There's, there's always somebody to work with you. They're always willing. We really do. We've we got a great team here in Judgment. So. Thank you for the time. And everyone, King of the Cage, rise. It's just three days away. Las Cruces, New Mexico. We'll see you there. Thank you for the time.